All right, in this video, we're going to go over the new selectable buttons field type that chips as part of Expression Engine 6.3. So for starters, I have a channel already set up. We're going to go in here and add the new, new field and tie it to the channel. So we're going to go to type and we're going to type in button, do selectable buttons. We'll just name it button. Uh, real quick, I do want to call out that you can make a selectable buttons field conditional. Um, if we go down, what you'll notice is for the button options uh, that these options are very similar. Uh, they're actually the same as the ones that we have for checkboxes, radio buttons, select, and multi-select fields. So uh, you can do a value label pair. You can also populate them manually uh, in a list, if you will, or populate them from a, another channel field. So in this case, we're just going to go ahead and use the value label pairs. We'll do a one, two, three example. One, one. Add row two, two, add row three, three. Go ahead and we'll hit save to create the field. Let's save to tie the field to the channel. And we'll go over here to our demo channel and we'll create a new uh, demo. Demo buttons. All right, so we can simply choose a button from the button field group. You can also set this field group to allow multi-selects as well. If we hit preview, you'll notice that it says two here. A uh, very simplistic preview example. Go ahead and hit save. Um, similarly, in live preview, or I'm sorry, in the front end editing that ships with Pro, you'll notice that the buttons field type shows up here as intended. Uh, if we come back, there's also um, a buttons tag pair that you can use in your template. So right now we're using the single button uh, tag, if you will, but we can drop in a tag pair here and we can uh, then have the item, the item value and the item label called out individually. So I'll go ahead and save this and we'll just update our preview to three. And what you notice is the item uh, corresponds to the number three, similar to the value of the number three and the label is the word three. So that's a quick introduction to the new buttons field type.